that report. And the newly inducted members aren't the only new features at the Knesset, which is in the process of becoming the greenest parliament in the world. We get more from IBA's reporter, Alexandra Jen. Situated proudly above the Knesset are the new solar or photovoltaic panels that have set the Israeli parliament apart from any other such building in the world. These solar panels are an example of the environmental awareness revolution that the Knesset is attempting to spearhead. The 1,500 panels that were installed on the rooftops will decrease the house facility's energy consumption by 33 percent and provide for 10 percent of its electricity. They supply alternative power for the facility's lights, air conditioning, heating, and computers. And most importantly... We have here uh, uh, 4,600 uh, square meters of uh, photovoltaic uh, um, panels, and this makes the Knesset uh, the greenest parliament in the world. The project is the brainchild of Knesset Speaker Yuli Edelstein, who was at the ceremony to unveil the solar panels earlier this week. He was joined at the ceremony by 39 of the new MKs who were sworn into office today and will celebrate the 20th Knesset with their first session. The solar panels on the roof of the Knesset behind me are actually a part of an overall project called the Green Knesset. Now the Green Knesset is comprised of 13 different initiatives toward a green revolution at the Knesset with the solar panels as a centerpiece. A few examples of the other initiatives are installing LED energy efficient light bulbs, interparliamentary agreements, and get this, the building's air conditioning system powered by the solar panels will soon irrigate the lawns around the parliament. An estimated 7 million shekels has been invested into the Green Knesset and the energy efficient initiatives should yield an annual savings of 1.6 million shekels. Leaders of the operation have high expectations for the precedent set by the Green Knesset, with hopes for the project to inspire a green revolution in Israel and beyond. Alexandra Jen for IBA News. Turning to nuclear negotiations.